Good morning guys, back at SEMA. As you can hear with all the drifting that's going on, Nick and Stephanie are already in the venue. We parked the car somewhere, trying to not have to pay for parking, but I was just a little too worried that I was gonna get towed. Didn't wanna be thinking about it the entire time. No, 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 hey, hey. What the hell? Don't touch my car, man. I run these streets. So you running the streets in this banana colored smart car? This is my backup ride. I got my Bentley in the shop getting some upgrades. Oh upgrades. man, whatever, dog. So went, reparked the car, now heading back inside to uh, enjoy SEMA for day two. Starting off the day with another Datsun. This one is a 280Z with the rocket bunny kit. I actually talked to Yaz about putting this kit on her car. She said she didn't want it because Yaz really isn't a fan of like that cutout there. Even though my 350 has the same exact cutout. Dang, just starting off today with Z's. So we got a couple different 400 Z's. Um, I can't remember his name. I think it's B, like B different or something like that. I think this is the Rocket Bunny kit, if I'm not mistaken, um, for this car, which honestly, if it is, I'm not sure how I feel about that uh, piece right there on the fender. And honestly, I'm not a big fan of how pointed the nose is, but I will say the color is really nice, his fitment's really good, and the rear end looks really good. But for me, if you're comparing the Rocket Bunny kit to the Street Hunter kit, I think TJ did a way better job designing the Street Hunter kit. It just flows with body lines as well as adds the wide body, where it's the Rocket Bunny kit honestly kind of throws it off for me. Uh, like yeah, see? One, like clean, goes in with the armor. Yeah, see? Dents it into the light. Yeah, it, uh... Nick agrees. That, that piece next to the headlight is really disappointing to see. Rocket Bunny, it kind of let me down right there, especially. Like, the kit as a whole, not, you know, but... That bugs me. And this is super unfortunate. I can't tell if somebody like threw soda or something on his car. There's like stuff all over it. You're not getting your drink. Go. <laughs> oh! I just want to tell you how good the kit looks. You guys did an amazing job. Um, that one's Rocket Bunny, correct? Yeah, it okay. is. I have a Rocket Bunny kit on my 350 and I'm a Rocket Bunny fanboy, however, in comparison, you guys, like, it's night and day. I think you guys did so much better designing the kit as a whole. Um, you know, obviously not talking down about Rocket Bunny, but I think you guys no, did course. awesome. And I think, you know, just as we progressed our company when we were younger, we saw random kits and Rocket Bunny kits, and we were always big fans, just as many other people were. And as we kind of started to do our own designs, we wanted to figure out ways to kind of stand out, be a little bit more OEM-ish, try to include new ways to incorporate the kits. So if you notice on ours, you know, it's all reverse mounted. You don't see any holes or anything like that. And then um, as far as the arrow and stuff, we wanted to take original body lines that you see throughout the car. So everything from like the front grill and the little rectangles that you see there carries through the back of the fenders and stuff like that. So we try to keep it very aesthetically OEM kind of to yeah. the rest of the car and that's something that we've always loved. Um, the kit's also squared off. It's 50 millimeters all around so it's a very, it's a little bit subtle but at the same time it still allows for a larger wheel all around and it's very functional. So that was uh, just, you know, some of the very small points that we wanted to and we actually released the kit right when the car came out. So, um, you know, being first mark, it was a big thing for oh, us. Yeah. We know Pandem was going with a little bit of their trend of, you know, the boxier yeah. flares and stuff like that which, don't get me wrong, it can look good depending yeah, on your absolutely. application and stuff. But um, we really wanted to do something that was more OEM, like Chris Forsberg, who's actually drifting over there right yeah. now, um, does run the kit on his Formula Drift car. So having that opportunity to kind of work on the kit earlier than most people was a big opportunity for us. He definitely killed it. Again, I mean, I love Z's. Uh, I own the 350, a 280ZX, so big Z fanboy. But oh, the, yeah. way, the design that you guys went with, uh, following the body lines, I was just showing them the detail on just like gas cap alone. Like you guys, yeah. <laughs> you guys did amazing. Uh, no, all, it and all the little details that yeah, we love. So absolutely. we appreciate you coming out, man. And yeah, of um, you know, as you look through the show, we have quite a bit of um, not only Z's, but oh, yeah. just a lot of street hundred cars yeah, here. Yeah, we, we, we saw the unveiling and everything, talked to Kelvin about, you know, his excitement with that. She's actually a BRZ owner of a boosted Z. So Very she's nice. Thinking, yeah. Yeah, and she loved the kid, so she was thinking about possibly running it and stuff. So, I mean, you guys, you know, right now with Street Hunter, I'm really proud of you guys. Thank Obviously, you, I don't know you personally, but really proud to see, like, what you guys are accomplishing, and I think you guys have a, uh, a really good 
chance of making a big game for yourself more than you already have and everything. Thank you, yeah. thank you. Thanks, man. It was awesome to talk to you. Yeah. Thanks. See that. Pretty nice built truck. Not like too over the top. Nice, t like perfect tire size. Perfect, perfect wheel size. I like it. Yeah. I don't know about all the color matching. But... Yeah. There, there's a lot. There, there's a lot of color matching. I think the front bash bar might have been nice, being black. But like when you see a lot of, okay, no hating, but when you see trucks like that in comparison to this, like this for me is how you should build the truck. If it floods, he's gonna be looking down from his ivory tower up there and just be like, I told all of you, I showed you, this truck is useful. Come check out the Hoonigan Yard. As a fan of Porsches and off-road vehicles, it's like the perfect mixture of both. Nice, simple, dude, yeah, same. Like this. Okay, so this Z was built by Throttle. This is the first Z in the States to have the Liberty Walk kit on it. As you can see, it has the pointed front uh, like the Pandem kit. And I get they want, like, the entire idea of this car was to be, like, reminiscent of the old Zs, and that's what they're doing with these kits. I just don't like the pointed noses, personally. Did a really good job with the rear fitment. The wing is really reminiscent of uh, the wings you can find on 280s. And again, another Dodson. Love to see them. And then I thought somebody was barbecuing. I said, oh Lord Jesus, it's a fire. So I've always wanted to build a Vader just because of the sheer fact that it once was a G35 and now it looks like this. Uh, it's always been cool to me. Still think it's not fully worth, worth the price tag to turn a G35 into a want to be supercar, unless you're also gonna put the money into the motor and everything. But again, um, if you guys don't know, basically this is a G35 that they completely tear down, uh, down to the frame. And then this is just a full body kit replacement that they do for it but if you look at the taillights the taillights stay the g35 taillights they're actually just turned upside down to make it look like a different taillight but you get the full body kit the front bumper different headlights they do the interior depending on how much you spend but i always think it's funny that they keep the g35 taillights and then just flip them upside down to make them look fancier so this is dustin's car this is his sti that he's been working on again i'll be honest this kit, I think, looks better on the Evos than it does, but I think he did a good job. I know this was his uh, like dream kit to put on the car. This is how he dreamed of building it when he was younger, so happy to see it here. Dustin is one of the only people that I didn't get to see and talk to yesterday, um, as I saw TJ and everybody else. So hopefully I run into him today or tomorrow, but always cool to see his cars. No idea what this little thing is, but it's dope. Clean little interior, clean bed setup. Twin turbo LS. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> All right, good. All right, All right one hand in it. Set, go. Cheated, babe. Yeah. 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 Yeah but they have a track, I guess, underneath it. So in case it ever gets beached or anything, that track turns on to get it unstuck. It's really awesome to see people do like different things with their builds. It's the cool thing about different kits though, is like when you see it, even if you don't know it by heart, you can kind of guess what kit it might be just based off of like similarities throughout the kits. Like I've never seen a various kit um, for this car, but immediately knew that it was just because of like the shape and the styling of it. Killing it too much, man, with the green suit out there. Yeah, yeah. 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 Looking good. Day. I'm telling you, next extra clean today. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thanks, man. Uh, it actually has Loopy on it. Yeah, no, that's a sick. Oh, really? Yeah, it's uh, my shirt. It's my design for my car and stuff. I didn't watch it. Yeah, I thought you watched One Piece already. No. You had one you had your... Not bad. I wanted to meet you. Dylan. Hey, Stefan, nice to meet you. Uh, I can't. I can't, can't talk to Dylan now, Calvin. Dang it. Dang it. Sorry. Um, Sorry. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye, guys. Pleasure. Bye. This thing is sweet.
carbon from top to bottom. Got the carbon interior. You got the honeycomb carbon in the grill, honeycomb carbon in the lips. Let's see, this would have been the year to bring the 280ZX just because of how many Dotsons are here. I love how clean that is too in comparison to mine. I haven't seen a whole lot of FDs this year, actually, but beautiful. I love a good RX-7. Yep. Sometimes less is more, man. It's nice, simple, clean. Finally found Will's car. I knew his car was in the show, I just didn't know where it was, but he is over here at uh, Battle of the Builds, which is awesome to see. It's worked really hard on this car. It's good to see how far it's come, um, but glad that he got it all painted, taken care of, and ready for today. Once again, another Datsun, and it looks like an absolute beaut. Godzilla with a Z. Still rocking like the tiny little wheels. It's got its side exit exhaust. Supercharged. Changed up the interior completely, it looks like. Got rid of the gauges. Did a fuel cell, some upgraded suspension back here. Different plate. Tail lights. It's definitely some things that I would prefer to look a little differently, but altogether it looks pretty damn good. So, it's pretty nice 400. I have no idea what kit it is uh, between the fenders. This front grille is actually really aggressive. I think it looks really good, especially with all the carbon. I think a different color might accent it a little better. That's interesting. All in all, it looks pretty good. I love and hate these little things in the front, but I think the hood design is really clean as well as this uh, front bumper being a lot more aggressive. I don't know, really interesting kit. Got a drone in forged carbon. Pretty interesting car. I said it yesterday, but I'll say it again, I am not a big fan of dry carbon. I don't know, it just look, it looks tacky, it looks a little cheap. Like, obviously this car is not cheap whatsoever, but just the dry carbon, like just a nice, Kind of looks like a wrap. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Just spray it with a quick clear coat, in my opinion, make it look 10 times better. Yeah. Look how pretty this is. Have the blue carbon right here. This thing is so pretty. I want it and it's manual. Uh, waiting to try out Logitech's new system. Beautiful purple GT3 RS. So I should have spent a full day of walking around, kind of looking at everything. Nothing too crazy has happened. Haven't really ran into anybody today, not even Ian, Zay, or Adam, because they got here today too. But um, just kind of enjoying seeing and making sure that we see everything that we wanted to look at more in detail yesterday. Trying to find Nick his tool section because we have not found it, but apparently there might be like an upper area that I've never visited before. So that's what we're gonna go look at now. And then Yaz comes in tonight, so happy that she will be here for tomorrow to, you know, enjoy all this with us. There's a whole nother hole that me and Jonathan didn't come into last year at all, and it's honestly pretty damn big. The sign is not lying, that is a big ass van. It can be small, guys, and still be really useful. You just <laughs> gotta make sure you're using it the right way and for the right things.